I'm the Commissar, and we're watching Forged Alliance Forever. Today, we have something a little unusual. We have the many versus the few, quantity versus, if you believe the ratings, quality, as three mid-rated players go up against one very high-rated player and one low-rated player. Who do you think's going to win? Let's find out. So, skill versus the swarm, mastery versus a multitude, quality versus quantity. We have our team of two and our team of three, and no doubt the star attraction of the team of two is skill issue. 2000 rated, he's playing as Seraphim in Burgundy, and his ally, only 700 rated, is Darkstar151 playing Cybron in Grass Green. And now for the Horde lined up against them. Three players of lower rating than Skill Issue, but trying to make up for it with numbers. We have Sovereign31, 1300 rated, and Seraphim in red. We have Little Tank, 1100 rated, and Cybron in orange. And last but not least, up here we have Crofis, who is a thousand rated and Eon in baby blue. And the map, the Dunes of Arasis. Not Arrakis, Arasis, I know, I've complained about it before. Look at all the reclaim. There is rocks just scattered everywhere across this map, and so early map control is going to be key as people try to snaffle up all those rocks. Now, each team starts on a plateau, and that means that thanks to the five bases on each plateau, the teams are likely to have similar eco once they've actually got up and running. So team quantity is going to have their early advantage only now in terms of having more build power immediately available, having more production immediately available. Let's see what they're able to make of it. And we have a tank and scout, a mantis and a mole, out from Darkstar. In fact, two mantis and a mole. I would have actually expected him to focus a lot more on eco, given that there's the numbers on the other team's side. But no, he's gone for quite a significant raid, and it's heading across the map towards this pair of hydros in the middle. couple of tanks out for Team Quantity. Crof is sending a tank and scout here. Little tank sending a tank and scout here. All greed so far from Sovereign. And Sovereign and Tank sending their comms forward early. Whereas Crofus and both the members of Team Quality are keeping their comms in their base. That's probably wise. You don't want one of or both of these comms to be caught out by the triple com of Team Quantity, because that's another early advantage they have in combat, simply more comms available to bring out onto the battlefield. Now, Darkstar has stopped his raid here. He's, I think, waiting for an engineer. Is he perhaps worried that if he tries running in here or here, he'll run into a com? But he's sending out more aggressive units, so maybe he'll do something with that. And a quick note that Team Quantity, yes, Tank, has noticed that they have more comms, and that's going to be a big advantage. Anyway, Team Quantity do have the eco lead, just because they've had more production to start with, and therefore could scale faster. Our only advantage is comms, says Sovereign, and he's not wrong. Unsurprisingly, the fastest in terms of eco production is Skill Issue, who's got three of the five bases here, compared to about one and a half each, give or take, for the th three members of Team Quantity. And it's no surprise that Darkstar would leave him 
to have all of that tasty mass, he's going to be the backbone of the team thanks to his 2000 rating. Now, Darkstar has got a chance to get into Sovereign's eco here with these fellas, and I think he might pick up a mex, but there are defensive units from Sovereign, and Sovereign has a decent amount of production here for factories. Is Darkstar actually going to get any damage done? I don't know if he is. I don't think he is, you know. These tanks are able to clean up Darkstar's raid, and he's going to have to look elsewhere. And meanwhile, he's going to have problems getting aggressive units forward now because Sovereign has come all the way up here with his com, claiming some mexes. If I was Sovereign, I would be throwing down a factory here to just spam out reclaim engineers because remember there's all this reclaim over here. Tank coming to the middle and getting down some forward production. I like that. And Crowfish has also advanced. Now we do have some raids coming in from Skill, and they're well positioned, sneaking around the outside here. I don't know if Crowfish has noticed them, because he's probably going to lose this mex to the tank and scout that Skill has sent this way. And this NG looks all on his own, and he is risking being taken out. Now, lots of spam from Darkstar, and that could cause a problem for Sovereign, who is all on his own out here, and all his spam back here. However, Sovereign is positioning himself well, and he's seeing off Darkstar's spam. Indeed, Sovereign and Tank have got their comms here to sandwich it, and that is very nice positioning. but they're not pushing in. If I were Sovereign, I would push in and hit this now with my com, while there's nothing else there to hurt it. Because now Darkstar is coming forward with his own com, and the more they can kill before that com arrives, the better. However, Sovereign isn't moving his com in. This is a mistake. He needs his com in here, because at the moment Darkstar has the more spam, and it will just kill Sovereign's spam. Tank is coming in here to help, and I like this radar that he's putting up here so we can see what he's doing. But he's going to have to be careful. This is a lot of spam. And there is Darkstar's commander coming in to help out. Quick check on the other side where Crowfish is pushing skill back with his army. But Crowfish is going to have to watch out because there's quite a lot of spam swarming down on his commander. Back on the other side... Darkstar has utterly surrounded Tank, who's putting up a point defence in desperation. We'd better watch both these things. So, here on the left, Skill is just pushing past Crowfish's com, just running past it, and these tanks are faster, and they'll get some good eco damage done. On the right, Tank has put up his PD, but Darkstar's com is here, as is all of Darkstar's spam, and this could be a threat to Tank. However, Sovereign has brought in his units. Over on the left, we have Blazes out from Crowfish, and Blazes are great against T1, so this may be a problem for Skill's spam, but Skill does have a decent amount of spam, and he's also got a bomber. Over here, the comms continue to duke it out, but Darkstar is actually getting quite a bit of damage down on Tank. Tank down to about two-thirds health. However, Tank's own spam is coming in, Sovereign's spam continues to come in, and Darkstar will have to be a bit careful that he doesn't overextend here. The Blazes continue to chase the rest of the spam from Skill, but look at all these mexes that um, Crowfish is losing, and these guys might even get in here and do some damage. The comms continue to duke it out. Darkstar has not taken much damage Tank stopping for some reclaim, which is quite... Ah, well, now he's surrounded by his own spam. He feels safer. But he will have to still be careful of Tank. He's still vulnerable to a snipe and then losing the resulting com fight. So now that Tank has dealt with Darkstar's spam, Darkstar himself is under threat. But Darkstar has more coming in. He hasn't been idle. 
and both comms are now around half health and both comms have spam supporting them. This could be close. Looks like Tank is now actually getting significantly the better of it and he's just bringing in all his dudes. Dark starts swarming in though and he's going for Tank's ACU trying to divert a bit of fire from his comm. And the comm retreats a little bit. And it looks like both Darkstar and Little Tank are getting themselves out of there. Up here though, Crowfish's blazes, now supported by a shield, are coming up here to handle skill issues spam. And as I mentioned, blazes are great against T1, but there are a couple of Yenzine hover tanks in here for skill. And so I don't know how much staying power this force from Crowfus has. Oof, I will tell you, the answer is not much. It has gone down. And will skill now push down here into all this relatively undefended area? Crowfus's com is over here, and he's going for the gun upgrade with more blazes and shields, but that's a lot now messing up from skill issue. Meanwhile, over here, both Tank and Darkstar have gone for the gun upgrade, but Tank has finished his first, and he's immediately moving in. Will he be able to force a cancel on Darkstar? That would be pretty good if he did. He heads forwards. He's leaving his spam behind, as one would often wisely do, but he should now start bringing it in as Darkstars comes forward. The comms hit each other hard. Here on the left, another decent force of blazes, backed up by shields, that's quite a significant amount, pushes in on skill. On this side, the two comms engage again, and Darkstar was taking quite a bit of damage here, look at that. However, Skill sends in a gunship to help out. Sovereign does have inties on point though, and in they come, and the gunship is quickly cleared up. There's also a point defence to fall back to here. And Little Tank is guarding well. Darkstar is still quite badly hurt, but he's got his spam to protect him. However, Sovereign has swiped in behind Darkstar's units with and behind his com with his own spam, and Darkstar falls back to protect as does the gunship that has followed up from skill issue over here. These blazes are doing sterling work for Crowfist and they're pushing back all skill issues dudes. However, they're falling back and it looks like we're seeing some battle lines being set up and Tank has chosen not to push in after Darkstar. So Sovereign's dudes just pushing on here and this, these mechs is here for Darkstar they look very exposed, and I think that they might all die. Darkstar already has the lowest eco of any of the players at only 45. He cannot afford to lose these mexes. But lose them he does. Nothing is saving those. His comms still out here, and he's got to watch out for tanks com coming in over here. Those mexes are all going to go down. Meanwhile, up here, Crowfus's blazes are doing good work against Skill's bases, although they have to watch out for this point defence. However, Skill reveals that he has T3 dropping in a quad of Othiums, and those Othiums are going to shred the blazes in no time at all, at least, so I think. However, blazes are faster than Othiums, and it's quite possible that Crowfus might be able to escape with a bunch of his duels. And they do, look at this, these Othiums just can't catch him, he's going to get a few more mexes. On this side, Sovereign has got in and killed a T2 mech for Darkstar, taking him down to just 37 eco, and Skill has had to come in in person with his comm and with a gunship to defend. He now sends the gunships up here to defend against these blazes. Oof. But he's going to have to worry about a new threat, which is Crowfus's Com, who has the gun upgrade and is coming in with a decent horde of shielded blazes in support, and he might threaten this little emplacement here. What has Skill got that can stop it? But also, 
tank is now attacking again. He's got a decent amount of health on him and the gun upgrade as before, but he is surrounded by these units from Darkstar. And Darkstar, he's got his con with the gun, but he still hasn't recovered all his health. Crofts has come falls back, leaving only the blazes, and immediately Skill drops in another batch of the Othiums. And this time the blazes are cleared up in a flash. Over here, though, Sovereign, look at this. That is a lot of Ilshis. Is that what, 20, 25 Ilshis? Which is an immense amount of firepower, and it's being led by Sovereign's Com with the Regen Aura. Now, in the comments of my previous video where I showcased my own dubious gameplay, I was advised, thank you for that advice, that I should be using Regen Aura more than Nano as a Seracom, and we can see it being put to excellent use here. Meanwhile, Darkstar is fighting all of this spam from Little Tank, which does now have a bit of T2 in it. Ooh, this could be bad for Darkstar, he's into the red. Tank is fighting him. Is Darkstar relying on these Othiums to save him? I don't think he's going to, because he is surrounded by the Ilshi from Sovereign as well, and the combo might take out the Othiums. That, I think, is a mistake from Darkstar. Is he going to survive? 300 hit points remaining? He dodges. He's not close to a vet. There's still these... Boom! Down he goes. Some of the Othiums survive, but Darkstar is out and Skill Issue will inherit all his stuff, but meanwhile over here, the Oshis have charged into Darkstar's base, and what little he had is going to be wiped. Sure, there's a couple of Othiums here, there's also a couple of gunships, but there's Flak here to counter the gunships, and this is a lot of Oshis backed up by Little Tank Spam, and despite there being T3 from Skill over here, my money is on the Spam coming out from Team Quantity. These mexes are being pung, they are absolutely ripe for the plucking, and look at this, this damage is brutal. Skur's comm doesn't have any upgrades, because he's been focused on staying in his base and not risking himself. He's putting up T1 point defence, but these Ilshis take out a T3 mech. Over here, the spam is ignoring this point defence, which might be a mistake, but these Ilshis, if they can survive the Othiums, could probably do a decent amount of damage and Sovereign's com is in here supporting though he's a bit too far away for his region order to work and he may actually be under threat if I was Sovereign I would worry about getting out of there two of the mechs here go down and the eco damage is absolutely real for skill issue sure he's got the skill on his side he's got the rating and his Othiums chase down Sovereign. Is Sovereign going to survive? I feel like he isn't. But the Eco. Team Quantity are 3 to 1 ahead in Eco, and for the moment they're 3 to 1 ahead in players as well. One of the Othiums dies to an overcharge, but Sovereign is shedding his health and boom! Make that 2 to 1. As our first player from Team Quantity is ejected by Skills Othiums. Quick overview of the map though. The map control is almost all apart from this plateau in the hands of Team Quantity, with the exception of this. However, we do have tactical missiles coming out from Crofus, but with this shield generator, I don't know if it will be enough. And there's this tactical missile launcher here from Skill, which could just fire back and pop it without a worry. And these Othiums are something which at the moment Crofus does not have an answer to. Quite a big Ilshi push coming in here, and the Othiums are moving in. What's Crofus saying yes to? Or T3? I think he's pinging those factories to upgrade them, and I would uh, agree with him. These Ilshis could get some eco damage done, and that would be pretty nice. And if the, the Othiums are being trickled in one by one like that, then... I like the stealth supporting... Oh, these are hoplites, not Ilshis. Oh, and some Ilshis, okay. On this side, however, we have an Othium push coming out from skill, and there's not really much to stop it. Eco damage here. 
eco damage for skill which he cannot afford to take and he's building turrets here to protect this lot but he sacrificed three and a half look this has gone down as well of his five bases and the eco difference is huge over here though the Ophiums come trickling down there are harbies for Kofis and they will kill some of the Ophiums four Ophiums against three harbies and two shields I don't know which way that's gonna go actually And more Harveys coming in to reinforce, and tanks come will cut them off. Those Othiums are going down. Nice raid attempt, but obviously Skill is focusing over here, where he's got a lot to worry about. His position here is also being wiped out by a raid from Tank. Lots of NGs out reclaiming, though. Look at this. This is madness. Hordes and hordes of NGs and look, you remember how there was reclaim everywhere and there still is over here? Well, there's none over here because skill has been sucking it up. And this is quite cheeky. Are we going to see an NG reclaim war? It's being pung like mad. Yes, we are because Crowfish has finally noticed and he eats up the NGs from skill. I always, apart from this one, which is getting a lot done. You're not going to eat that, Crowfish? The tactical missile launcher fires again. My dude, you could eat this NG. It's right here. Okay, fine. Some blade is coming. And oh, oh no, the reclaim war continues. He gets another one, but a tactical missile from skill takes out the tactical missile launcher here. And he tries to reclaim the point defense, but it's not going to be in time. Boom. Right. We spent an awful lot of time watching those NGs when we should have been watching up here where Crowfish is massing a T3 army and over here where the swarm from Litter Tank is taking out all the scattered mechs belonging to Skill Issue. And look at the eco. Over 300 for team quantity, under 100 for team quality. That is brutal and sh sure, the Master League is quotes only 60,000 rather than also 3 to 1. I bet there's a look, look at the reclaim. There is just so much reclaim for skill, but it hasn't made up the difference in mass. And if team quantity can turn it into something good, then it's going to hurt. Big army coming in here with not much anti air in, but the gunships have just flown past. And I think the inties from this attack will clear them up without much of a trouble. This. Well, both sides I see can play at the reclaim game. Look at those engineers on a reclaim attack move order. This could spell trouble for skill because it's a decent amount of T3 and Tank has the eco to support it on his own. Tank has more eco than skill and that's not even counting Crowfish. A face of here between Harveys and Othiums. The Harveys are supported by shields and flak. The Othiums aren't and the Othiums are dying. These guys need to be pushing in to get extra work done, and skill pulls away. Is Crowfus going to follow? He is not. Now, what are we going to see next? Given that they've got T3 production and the Eco, I want to see an experimental bomber from Tank, who's got Seraphim T3 production right here. He can make Seraphim T3. Because... There are no shields here in Skill's base, and, well, okay, now there's a shield, but how long is that going to last as this comes, okay, that's a lot of point defense. So this is a huge T3 push, but it's out of formation, and if it trickles, then it's just going to die to these, because there's enough PD here to kill a T3 unit, a single T3 unit, in one round of fire. These Othiums will also help. It's Clutching up a little bit, but will that be enough, or will all this just die to this firebase and the Othiums? The Seraphim... Oh, this is hilarious. Look at this cheeky little shenanigan as they're literally just reclaiming a T2 Max. Awesome. So, the shield is down, some of the point defences are down, but there's not quite enough to break in. And this raid is repelled just about. Now, this is a classic sideburn strategy over here. Thousands of spam factories, and I bet they, they're all going to have Medusas pouring out of them in just a moment. 
point defences here, and they're just taking out the eco that skill had been slowly rebuilding. That's pretty cool. Down goes some eco, but Othium's come in and point defences to clear it up, and that mechs is going to survive. Over here, we have another T3 raid charging in for Little Tank. The pressure is relentless, but more and more of these point defences are going up, and I feel like there's enough to hold here, especially as the Othium spam continues. But I feel like the Eco is going to have to make a difference sooner or later if only Team Quantity can do something with it. Look, an experimental bomber would just come in and trash. Do, is there even any air tech? Tech to wear for, um, for skill, but one experimental bomber and he would be toast. Yes, indeed, we have Medusa spam swarming in here, but I think there's enough point defense to, to hold it back. Now, Skill's forward base is actually producing a decent number of Othiums. And where it looks like these are headed to clear up this Medusa spam, which they will easily. Over here, we've got... I, th I was thinking we, we might have Sniper Fire, but that's actually Shield Disruptor Fire. I think that's too many Shield Disruptors, because I saw at least two or three in there. You don't really need more than a couple in an army that size, especially when you're not up against units that are shielded by default. Like, if you're against Obsidians or Harvey, sure, but you're not, you're against Othiums. And there's only one little shield here, so I don't like the over-reliance on shield disruptors from Crofus, but Crofus is falling back to regroup. Another T3 push, at this time with several T3 mobile shields, is massing here. However, here come the Othiums. Try There's six of them. Will that be enough to take out this much production? I have a feeling it actually will be. And the T3 push comes in over here. Look at that Seraphim point defense fire. Look at it lighting up the terrain with its beam attacks. And I think that Little Tank is waiting to regroup with this. But has he even then got enough? I don't know if he has. And look at these Othiums just taking out the Medusa production. It's just being shredded in seconds. And Skill hasn't even lost a single Othium here. Tactical missile fire pouring out at this base. We have Arty going up and some of it has been taken down by this battery of counter Arty. So we have an Arty war between these bases. And it looks like at the moment Skill has got the better position for it. But his Arty is now retargeting over here. Will that be enough? It looks like it might be. That's a lot of shields taken down. How are we looking over here? Well, almost all that Medusa production is taken out. And this just hasn't been enough to break in. They, they need something else. They need an arse washer. I mean, even a chicken would work, but I would prefer to see an arse washer. Is this lot going to push in? Over here, though... An Othium raid charges past the RT base from Crofus and that's just going up, no questions asked. Crofus sends his unit sideways to try and take the Othiums out and Skill, knowing that this is more than he has in the way of T3, sends them to take out tank stuff in the middle instead. I don't think he's going to lose much. The anti-shield stuff is in range here, but not much else. We'll check on it in a moment though, because over here I think we're about to see another push from tank and I'm enjoying all this reclay being sucked up by these engineers coming out for skill. And those Othiums are being driven a little bit back by Crofus, who's just got enough to hold them off. Skill is not pushing yet, he needs to bring these boys up if he wants to have a hope, but the longer he does that the more Skill can mass units coming down over here. And now the eco lead is quotation marks only 2 to 1 or 2 and a bit to 1 in favour of team quantity, even so. They, they have so much on the field and so much to build with. Are they actually able to spend it all? Yes, they are. So they need to be able to do something with that. 
and the Othium's retreat from the combined forces here. There are engines coming in here trying to get something done, but there are enough Othium's from skill to deal with that while the army is distracted over here. And our first experimental is up, and it's a chicken from Tank. I think the experimental is necessary. All he has to do is wait for, for it with this army. Although I do like taking out these Othiums first. I think he's got enough to do that. If he waits for it, if Crofus gives Tank this army and Crofus and, and um, Tank pushes in with all this up plus the chicken, I think he's got enough. But what he shouldn't do is send it in on its own first and I worry that he's going to do that. There's less point defence up here but once he gets to about here he'll still be in range of all this stuff. He needs that chicken to catch up. He needs Crowfish to either bring this in, coordinate it, or just give it to him. And this firebase is still working for skill. Without it, I think he would die, because he would lose what little mexery he has left up here. If mexery isn't to work before it is now, and we have a drop coming out of, of fumes, we'll see where that's going to go in a little bit. However, right now we have to see whether this push coming up from this entrance is enough. And it hasn't waited for the chicken. That's a mistake. I don't like it. I think he was trying to say drop there. I think he's noticed that. And it's going to kill some mexes. And this is eco which skill can't afford to lose. Quick check down here, that transport has been caught and shot down, that's four Othiums that were heading for Little Tank's base, lost to a skill, so nice spot and nice counter from Crowfish. But look at this, that entire army has died and it has left 25,000 reclaim just lying there for skill to pick up. Meanwhile, an XP comes in, that chicken that we saw earlier from Tank, and Crowfish has finished a GC of his own. Send them in together, do something, but you need to mass it. Tank is trying to sneak around the side here, out of range of these point defences. There's more back here though, and this is going in as a trickle. I don't like it, that ping suggests that Dark Star was still watching and trying to help Skill out. But the chicken feels like it's going in alone, and I absolutely hate that. Will this get anything done? With the Othiums coming in to defend, it doesn't feel like it's going to. He Okay, no, he's grouping up, that's good, but skills Othiums are arriving in defence. Actually, he might have enough there to get something done if he pushes in, maybe kill these two mexes. And we'll see, we see over here that these two mexes did die to the previous push. If only that had waited for the chicken, that could have broken skill, but it did not. They're too hasty. And the chicken comes in, we can see it here, while Crowfish pushes over here. And this is quite a lot for skill to worry about. He's got to keep some Othiums over here to defend, and he has, which means that there aren't enough to hold Crowfish back over here. The chicken comes forward, and why didn't Tank wait for these tanks, for this army of Othiums backed up by mobile shields? A few shields over the chicken, a few Othiums to tank some of the fire, and it would not be dead right now, but it's dead, and it hasn't killed any more Mexes. I hate that. However, Krof is doing good work here. He's got in. He's killed one of the T3 mixes. I think he's about to kill another. You have the eco advantage and you need to double down on that. He does. He gets it. Great. That is good work and the Iron Storm has taken out a mix over here. And so we are once again at a 3-1 to one eco lead for team quantity over skill issue. And this army is coming in, if it only it were with the chicken. Where's that GC? 
Well, that GC looks like it's coming to try and break this space here. And I'm seeing tactical missiles flying out. Crawfish has rebuilt his RT battery and he's trying to shield it. Will he be able to get it up? Haha, <laughs> before, um, before these guys take it out. He does get the shield up. But I think the GC is what's going to spell doom for this. Tank, seeing Crawford's success over here, has also sent a contingent round the side. But this time, with these mechs already taken out, it doesn't feel like it's going to do any real damage here. Now look at that, this is all just going to die to these point defences and these Othiels. And Skill brings his com forward now with T3. What's he setting up? He needs to reclaim this eco and he needs it fast. On this side though, that GC is pushing in. But what is this? This GC has to worry about a lot of PD and we'll check on it in a moment. But look at this. Skill has just sent a bunch of Othiums straight across the middle and they're driving into the base and these bricks aren't catching up. The GC is shedding health though. That's took these Harveys were too far behind. The GC goes down to 9, 8, 7, 6, but it gets a rank of vet. That could be crucial. Meanwhile, though, two mechs is so far down to the Othium push, and the Othium split up. This one might be going to do all the damage. It's got two more mechs down. Oof. This one, it does go down, but I don't think they're going to catch this one before it kills the last of those T3 mechs there. On this side, the GC has killed the base. I'm enjoying this. Look at this split order as they go to kill all the different mechs. And the Othium is chased down, but not before. No, yes. Not before it takes out a mech. Brutal. And Crofus is building a nuke launcher. To be honest, I think that T3 RT would be the better choice here. I think that T3RT, again, not many shields, same same as an Arwasa experimental bomber would have been so great, T3RT would be the play here. I don't like the nuke launcher, that said, there isn't any nuke defence preventatively put up as yet from skill, and so it might pay off. But let's have a look at map control. Do you know what skill has? He has this plateau, that's it. He has his the five starting bases he gets here. And the remaining 90% of the map is in the hands of Team Quantity. That is absolutely brutal. This is quite a big army, well shielded here, but we've seen that try and fail before, and Crawfish finishes his nuke silo. Now, Skill hasn't really been scouting, so he doesn't know anything about it as yet. And that could be a little bit of a problem. And speaking of eco, after losing those five T3 mexes, which they have not rebuilt yet, it's now still two and a half to one in favour of team quantity. And I think this is a very good example of where the skill of skill is here is paying off. He's doing so much with so little. And team quantity haven't been able to work out what it is they need to crack it. Which is not to diss their play at all, because Skill is 2000 rated, he's an amazing player. And as a result, they're going to have trouble, but I can say, because I can see what he's got here, that an experimental bomber would be great. And they know a decent amount about what he's got, but not everything. Either way, I think, did I just see, I did not, Othium's coming out, Othium's coming out to shoot up this army, but this is a trickle and Skill should know better, he's saved by the terrain luckily, look at that, and he falls back before he's lost more than a couple of Othiums to this immense army. And this is a huge army. And it can probably do a decent amount of this T3 Mobile Arty. That would be great. Put some T3 Mobile Arty, like, here. And it can smack the eco without fear of reprisal from these point defences. That is also something that I would love to see from Team Quantity. 
but we haven't seen any sign of that yet. And he's obviously seen the nuke because he is frenziedly assisting that nuke defense. But on this side, they are even more frenziedly assisting the nuke and they got more eco to do it. Who's going to be ready first? And I do like their preventative nuke defense just in case because that sounds like exactly the sort of thing that skillers you might do being trapped in a corner. So that's good play. I also like the Eye of Rian, so they can actually see what he's doing. They Do they know that he's got a nuke defense thanks to their Eye of Rian? Yes, they do. I might actually keep the eye looking at it so that you can see when all the lines wink out to show it's loaded. But it's only half loaded. And this is three quarters loaded. It feels like this could be the decider right here. Meanwhile, the army from Little Tank repositions itself. It's a big army, but we've seen before that a big army is not enough. It's getting close. And... Litter tanks NGs have stopped assisting. That might be a mistake. That might cost them. Nuke progress, our sovereign. Well, it's literally about 95% done. Oh, this is going to be so, so close. And meanwhile, Skill has to worry about this army pushing in. GG, says Little Tank as the nuke launches. And it's right here, but he's a second too late. Skill issue is loaded. Ha! That'll teach you to call GG early, my friend. And Skill issue tells them it's loaded. And these guys are just trickling, they're just all going to die now. And Skill can refocus all his bird power on this chicken. There goes the nuke. Pop. Sovereign is not happy. And I wouldn't be too in that situation. That was their main way of just breaking in and getting it done. And suddenly it's failed. And look at all of this. That crisscross of Seraphim point defense shots, and all of this army is just going down. And Tank retreats a little bit. He's got a few units down here, he's got a few more here. He's never been able to get them all pushing in the right place at the right time when the chicken is out for skill. Do we have any XPs on the other side to stop it? Not actually seeing any at the moment. I think they were focusing everything so hard. They've started a paragon. That feels like a mistake. They've got the eco lead. They don't need a paragon to make more. They just need to use the eco that they've got. Look at that. 700 and. What's that? Six times the eco? No, five times the eco still. Lots of times the eco is my point. Four times the eco. 18 times five is 90. Either way, they've got a lot more eco, and the chicken is just going to shred this. That's not enough to stop a chicken. I don't like Crofus's choice here. This is not the time when your com is going to be useful as a combat unit, especially an Eon com. Sever Devil Gun, Devil Nano, sure. Cyber and Mazer um, Cloak, sure. But Eon com, nah. And we've got a second chicken out from Skill, and he's not bringing it to fight this army. He doesn't need it. This army can do that. He's bringing it to fight this army. And rather than go for T3 Mobile Arty, which I think would have been a better choice, we're just getting a long creep line of T2 Static Arty. But it is firing shots in. However, I don't. Unless it focuses this chicken now, I think it's going to be toast. 
chicken is, is firing shots, but it kills a couple of things. How much does Skillet you know is here? Well, now he knows it's there. But the chicken is standing still, and he is losing quite a lot of his stuff to the arty fire. I do not like that at all. Skill, my dude, just walk the chicken to like here, and everything here dies. Why do you not do this? Kofi says there's a chicken and he pings it. Yes, yes, he's right, there's a chicken there. The chicken is not doing quite enough. The chicken just needs to walk forward. Meanwhile, the other chicken is walking forward and there's been a lot of eco expansion here from Crofus, which I like, but it's undefended and this chicken is going to deal with it. Why is the chicken walking away on this side, leaving four... RT pieces still up and firing. I do not know. Ob obviously, there is a lot of pressure under which Skill SU is working, so he can be forgiven the odd misclick, but that does feel like a mistake. Especially if it can hit some of the build power building this chicken. Okay, now he sees what's up, and that chicken looks like it's moving back as he gets another one up and running, and over here. This chicken is just soloing its way through all these unprotected mexes, all of which are T2 and some of which are on the way to T3. In fact, a lot of which were on the way to T3. That was a mistake, in my opinion. And all their eco is now being pumped into this paragon, which is also a mistake. They could be putting that into things that are actually useful right now. And this chicken is going to deal with this. It's taking a few hits, but it's... It's coming forward. Okay, good. And this chicken is coming around here. Will this army be enough to stop the chicken? No, it won't. And it certainly won't be enough to stop two chickens. Despite the immense eco difference, is Skill going to be able to make a comeback? The chickens advance. And look at this, they're just tearing apart that army. It's running away from the chickens. It's got nothing it can do to stop them. And the other team could have like five, six experimenters if it weren't for this. They really need something to defend and they don't have anything. Crawford has got his comb with a double shield standing out as a defense, but he must know that chicken is coming. Absolutely he does. He knows there was a chicken right there. His comb will not be enough, even with double shield. He's putting up banks and banks of T1 point defense, but everything about this feels like a mistake. Wave of scouts, and we see here that skill now has T3 air, yeah, because these are all T3 scouts. And the army is trying to mess up here, but will it be able to stop two chickens? I still think the answer is no, especially given that one of them has full five veterancy and therefore has 100,000 hit points. We've got to worry about this though. The chicken that we saw going around the top and wiping out all that eco is now bearing down on Crowfish. Litter tank starting cloaking, which is fun. But Crofus can't stop the chicken. He doesn't have enough. He's just going to die here, isn't he? I don't think he escapes. Half his shield goes down. And he's firing on the chicken, but it already has four vets. And he's just shedding health. Crofus is going to die here. He's not even going to kill the chicken. Boom, Crofus is dead. Over here, these two chickens are standing in the army and shredding it. A bit better positioning would have seen them take less damage, but this is a good choice. This chicken is falling back, lowering these things away. Right? The one with five vets, it's on half health, but it's still got 43,000 hits. Just regenerates as it walks on, and this chicken does go down. Nice. Well done. 
This chicken has gone down, but it's gone down in the base and it's tearing apart their eco with its ion storm. The Paragon was such a mistake. I think they could have won without that Paragon. A suggestion to make a bunch of strats, kill the SMD and nuke it. But now that there is T3 air on the field for skill, it's going to be harder for them to do that. And this first chicken is coming in. However, the Litcher Tank has got the laser and the cloak. And I think we know what his defense is going to be, and I think we love it. Successful or not, props on him for trying. Props on him, props for him, props to him. What preposition would you use there? It doesn't matter. The position he's in right now is uncomfortable as the chicken just walks into his base and starts smacking his eco and we can see on the map more chickens coming out there for skill point defense has hurt the chicken but it heads on forward it's still only on half health but with the cloak it can't see litter tank And Little Tank heads towards it, and the laser opens up on the chicken. And boom, down goes the chicken. However, the Iron Storm doesn't worry about the cook. The Iron Storm will lock onto him regardless. Will he be okay? He's got 38,000 hit points thanks to that cloak, but look at that. He's shedding it as the Iron Storm flicks its shots at him. He gets under a shield. He's under the shield, but the shield goes down. 22,000 hits, but he is going to escape just fine. However... If you, he's going to have to be lucky if he wants to pull that trick again because we have a second chicken coming in for skill issue. And despite the fact that Little Tank, I mean, he can't possibly be spending all this eco, and he isn't. He's overflowing massively. Another reason why the Paragon would have been a mistake. However, Skill now knows that there's a laser com here and he's using ground fire. Look at that, he's trying to work out where it is and he's ground firing it. And this could be a bit of a problem for Litter Tank. He's dodging, he's walking back and forth, but his laser shows where he is and that hit strikes. 5,500 hit points, but he takes down the chicken. Will the Iron Storm do the rest of the damage? He's got just 5,500 hit points. But do you see what I see on the minimap there? I see an experimental bomber. I said that this would have been the answer for Team Quantity. Well, now Skillis, you thinks it's the answer. However, Litter Tank gets in under a shield and the bomb that aimed at the position they thought he was. But there's T3 scouts coming over and the T3 scouts have Omni and they can see where Little Tank is. The pin goes down from Dark Star, but I'm pretty sure that skill already knows as the experimental bomber, the arse washer, spins around and... Is it going to get him with the blast? Boom! Little Tank goes down, his arse is washed by Skill Issue's arse washer and the game is over. Skill Issue has come back from an immense deficit to win the game and that's amazing. You've got to admit that that was a pretty amazing comeback. Skill issue, proving that the other team did indeed have an issue with his skill. Now, if you were the many, if you were team quantity, how would you have cracked it? I still think an arsewasher would have done the trick, maybe just something as simple as a strat snipe. I think air would have been the way in. What's your call? How would you have beaten skill issue in their position? Tell me in the comments below while you're down there. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey, because I am the Commissar, and I will see you next time.